friends and welcome back to my homestead. Today I would like to share with you a sad story. Yes, we do have sad days on a homestead and today is one of them. And the reason why I'm sad is because we have to destroy three of our fruit trees. So here's the story. We planted these trees a few years back and they were doing well for a few years but then we've noticed that they had a little bit of fungus on the little branches. Now, I was advised to remove those branches as soon as possible, and we did so. But unfortunately, it, this has spread like a wildfire among all of the three trees. They're from the same family, so I have three plums. They're all three different plums. And I did some research, and apparently plums tend to have this problem. So today, we are going to cut them down completely and burn the branches. We cannot even save anything and I am so sad that we have to do this. I'm not sure what happened, I'm not sure how we got this fungus, but that's just the story. So friends, if I, any of my subscribers are experts in plum trees, please share with me what did I do wrong, how can I learn from this mistake, but let me show you what's going on, okay? So here are the plum trees and it started off like a little bit on the small branches and then it spread everywhere you'll see them on the little branches on the trunk everywhere you'll see this what this is fungus i'm not sure exactly what name it is but i can assure you it is all over my plum trees everywhere so today my husband is coming with a chainsaw and we're going to bring this a beautiful majestic trees down look at this it's everywhere I am so saddened by this um, I don't want to put any of these leaves in the compost uh, because I want to make sure that it's all destroyed so nothing nothing gets into my compost nothing gets into my soil but yes it's absolutely everywhere so um, I'm just so sad this is just so sad but that's that's the reality so we have to destroy these three trees So yes, this is what the fungus looks like and, um, and unfortunately it spread and there's nothing else we could have done to treat it this. Because my garden is organic garden and I try to use organic stuff, unfortunately it was not enough. At this point we're going to literally dig up the stump and get rid of that and I'm going to treat the soil around with an antifungal um, with the antifungal stuff, but also I'm going to scrape up all of these leaves and I'm going to destroy them to make sure that nothing gets into my soil.